Solana on the daily chart. Previously, we had a symmetry support mapping out from that pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. Those are some swings in the same direction that gave us a support right around 150. From then, we floated to the upside. Taking a quick look at this chart, what can we do next? If you're not in this chart already, you can think about splicing into the tray. The way that we do it, we look for these smaller pullbacks and see if we can find a three price relationship. Jumping down to the hourly chart, what we want to do is start to map out these potential areas of support. Looking at these previous moves to the downside, now I'm going to do, I'm going to use my trend based pivot extension, clicking from that pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. That'll be my first price relationship. Next over here, pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. My second price relationship. Also, we get another one over here. Pivot high, pivot low, pivot high. We got three moves to the downside. They're very similar in dollar amount, which will give us a support area right around 184. Now I'm going to show you why this is not ideal, simply because right now price is trading above that 200 moving average. And if price were to retrace back to this 184 area, price would be trading below that 200 moving average on the hourly chart. And that's going to provide resistance for me on the way back up. And that's not what I want. So right now I'm looking at this chart. There's really nothing for me to do right at this level. All we have to do is to skip this one, move on to another chart. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the descriptions below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.